the hundreds. And here's another problem where you, get, you can kind of set it up and go through at your own pace. And you might want to make a special note here in this example, there are three numbers in total to the right of the decimal. Not just two, but there's three. One, two, three. Let me go back for a second here. So the decimal in this instance went over th three places. One, two, three. Okay? So there you have it. Some decimal, decimal uh, shortcuts here that might be helpful to you is just ignoring zeros at first, then moving the decimal point accordingly. Okay, so you see, you know, this kind of problem might intimidate you at first, and you're thinking, oh, man, this is, this is way too hard for me. But don't be put off by all the, you know, all the zeros and decimal points. It's really just 7 times 9. Really, just do that math. 7 times 9 is 63. And then, don't stop there. Just don't stop at 63. Move the decimal over. So how many places are you going to move it over? You're going to move it over four places. Very good. Very good. I heard five people say that. So move it over four places. One, two, three, four. And there's nothing here. What do we do about those empty spaces? Do we just draw like a picture of a rainbow in there? No. You put two zeros. Okay? Two zeros. So two eggs in the egg basket. So the decimal point is there. And then put a zero here because that's just good. That's being a good mathematician right there, making sure you put a zero in the whole number spot. Okay? So there's your answer. Say that together with me, everybody. 63 ten thousandths. That's right, ten thousandths. 63 ten thousandths. Because that three is in the ten thousandths place. All right, let's move on. Oh, man, this looks hard. 15 times 0 .006. Now, this is going to be tough, but not really. 15 times 6 is, um, I believe, uh, I'm using my fingers and toes right now. Oh, I think it comes out to 90. Okay, so 15 times 6 is 90, and then move over that decimal place. How many places? Let's count. One, two, three. How about over here? Anything to count? No. So move over three. One, two, three. Put an egg in that egg basket, put the decimal there, and put a, a zero there. Okay, good job, everybody. And if you want to get rid of that zero, so be it. Get rid of it. does not matter if you keep it there or not. All right? does not change the outcome of that number whatsoever. Nine hundredths or ninety thousandths, both are the same exact value. Holy cow, this is this looks kind of tough, but uh, it shouldn't be too bad. All right, so I'm doing one hundredth times thirty-four ten thousandths. What? Oh, this is just one times thirty-four. That's all that is. One times thirty-four. So what? what's one times thirty-four? Um, 1 times 34 is 34. Okay, that's crazy. I'm going to erase this because I'm going to need some room here. And so I'm going to put down 34. Oops. So then I'm going to move the decimal over. In this, in this instance, I'm going to move the decimal over how many places? 2 and 4 makes 6. So I'm going to move it over six places. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So the decimal point is right there. And how many eggs should we put in the egg basket? One, two, three, four. There you have it. So 34, what is that? 34 millionths. That's a pretty small number. 34 millionths. Okay, and this last one, too, again, uh, you're just doing 654 times 1, which is just 654. That's all you got to do. And let's count how many numbers are to the right of the decimal here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. So those cinco numbers. I'm going to move this over five places. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. There's the decimal point. Put some zeros there, and you got it. Right there, everybody. So this is very, very simple stuff, I know, you know, but um, 
you know, decimals and math, it, it's not that hard as long as you know what to do. And you should be okay. Now, make sure you guys took good notes. If you were unclear about anything, go back in the video, uh, look it over again, write some more examples down, perhaps, and bring any questions to class with you. Make sure you write a summary. Um, you know, some, write down some, some letters that make a sentence. And, uh, you know, see what happens. And uh, try to make those into a paragraph. And perhaps you'll have a, a nifty little summary there. Okay? So everyone have a great night. I'll see everyone tomorrow. And um, make sure, you know, you're, you're being nice to your parents, okay? Um, you know, tell them, uh, you know, give them a hug or something. You know, that, that would always be a good thing. Good night, everybody.